So just come to number four of the eight brocades hit no Qigong sequence. So again, eight moves. Uh, by the way, the fourth move isn't um, what I said it was, snake head swing tail. It is actually wise owl gazes backwards or wise owl um, or looking back to eliminate the five illnesses and seven fatigues. Um, that's what it's called. Um, so I jumped ahead one uh, at the end of the last one. But anyway, I digress. So again, same deal, breathing in to the belly like a balloon and exhaling for as long as you like. Again, that's the hypnotheric element there, elongating the out breath and just allowing that simplicity to relax the mind that you're elongating the out breath. Again, I'm going to sort of traditional way of doing it and then just linking the hypno breath. So I'm going to go back. Um, Wise <clears throat> out, gazes backwards, will also release the neck sternal muscle here, sternocloidal mastoid, again by turning the head. Um, this releases all the channels from the head down in towards the body. In Taoism, um, the head is linked with the bone of the gods. So again, you're just releasing these areas like Sarasa, the crown, the main crown chakra, that is linked to every single meridian, electromagnetic river running through the body, like a sort of nervous system to all the organs, cells, etc. Um, again, this one, there's a few adaptions to it with the range and the motion. You can go in it, into it easier, just a basic way. It's a real basic motion. Um, or you can go into it, make it a little bit more physical, depending on how hard or easy you want to make this. And remember, it's your Qigong, it's your union of your mind and body. So just start with a breath, breathing in to the belly like a balloon, and exhaling for as long as you like. Okay, see how long you can make that out breath go longer than the in breath. Okay, see how long you can make that out breath. Not forcing anything. As you breathe in to belly like a balloon and exhale, your finest decrease and increase. And you're just feeling that rampage of relaxation. As you breathe in, reaching every single sinew cell of the body. So I'm gonna go back and demonstrate that. So again, this is with the breath to motion. Feet hip width apart. Feet facing the same direction, not rigidly. Everything soft. Space between the armpits. Again, you're just turning off a skewer. So you've got a skewer through your head and you're turning off that skewer. You're allowing the spine to lengthen up out the pelvis. So if there's a pubic string, a hook, a brace on your head, pulling up towards the ceiling. And all it is is this. You're just turning here and coming back. Again, you can turn the head. In traditional way, I always like the body to find. So where the head goes, turn the head and come back. Or you can take it on further, like I like to do. Turn the head, where the head goes, the body naturally goes. Then follow with the trunk and come back. Okay, so where the head goes, the body naturally goes. You turn the head and come back. Simple motion, again, link that to, to breath. So again, from here, Again, you're just exhaling, looking back, opening up the palms, breathing, coming back, just supinating and pronating the hands, exhaling, coming back. Again, sometimes traditionally they don't allow that sort of turn here, or I do, um, because I don't want you to be too rigid in the spine. Again, the spine's nerves linked to everything. So again, nice free motion, exhaling, breathing, coming back, opening up the hands. Again, from here, you can take some a little bit further, bring the deltoids in there to stretch, and you exhale, look back, and you breathe in, come back, and you exhale, come back. Open out the chest, all the organs in the chest. Don't kind of extend the back, keep that neutral. And then from here, if you want to take it on further, you can just widen the width, exploit that rain speed and tempo, and exhale, looking round, and breathing, coming back. We're going to do the hypnotherapy breath in a minute. Again, just like a sort of turn. 
So you're crushing something between the ball leaf foot and coming back. That skewer on your head. Again, everything shoulders over, hips head over shoulders. You're here and you're exhaling for as long as you like. Then when you're finished, you breathe and come back, wrap, swap over the hands. Then you exhale the other way, gonna come away from the wall again. Turn the head, but don't force it. And breathe and come back. Again, swap over the hands you like or keep them the same. Optional. So you wrap inwards and you unwrap. Again, this foot turns, ball of the foot. Breathe in, coming back. Again, exhale, open out the chest. Breathe in, come in. You can really grab if you like. You can grab that back scapula bone there, shoulder blade bone, that's great. If not, just grab here or keep it loose. You're gonna grab in there. Again, you're stretching the deltoids there. Keep the shoulders down. Exhale, open out that chest. Breathe in, coming back. Exhale. Don't force anything. Again, if you feel it on the knees, don't do that turn with the foot. You know, um, if you want to come in deeper, you can come in deeper, but no further than lead knee and over toe, right angle on this back leg, like a lunge, and you're turning, breathing, coming back, breathing, coming back. Now wrap in deeper, you can do, or swap over, lengthen up for the crown, exhale, open up the chest, breathing, coming back. And again, as you do that, you're wringing out the tension from the spine on that elongated out breath. So if you're sort of wringing out a dirty cloth in a stream, and you're wringing out that dirty cloth in the stream, wringing out all the tension from the spine. Again, people forget the neck is the spine. So when the head goes, the body naturally goes. Again, head first, then allow the rest of the body to turn. But don't force anything. It's not about forcing anything. If you want that turn with the feet, feel free. But again, it's like a linking couple of moves. So again, you're putting that all into one. So again, the head will move, the torso, then your turn, and carry on round and back. Retrace their moves. As you wring out the tension from the spine, this is a really good one because it challenges what we call the transverse plane of the body. All the sort of um, sockets in the body are moving like this. So again, it's we're just overemphasizing the rotational plane of the body. Breathe in the belly like a balloon and exhale for as long as you like. Um, and only go as deep as you like. It can be a nice wide stance or smaller stance. But work with that out breath again. And maybe even get into the spaces at the end and the beginning of the breath as you elongate the out breath. Be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation in every single organ, cell sinew the body lovely so number five is snake head swing tail uh lovely that was number four wise owl bang